Hello everyone, my name is Michelle and today I'm going to share with you how to use Quizlet Live in your online class. So prior to moving my lessons online, I've used Quizlet Live quite often in my classes. So my students really like it because it's fun and it's engaging. And I think that it's really effective to review concepts and terms while they work on their team skill, a skill that they truly need in this 21st century. So in remote learning, working in teams may seem quite impossible. However, it is actually not. Quizlet Life does work in a remote learning situation. All you need is some good planning and some clear instructions. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So before you start the game, here is my advice to you. Number one, tell your students well in advance that you are playing Quizlet Life in the upcoming lesson. You can do this by posting an announcement on the LMS platform that you use with your students like Canvas, Google Classroom, Edmodo, or WhatsApp chat group if you use that with your students. It's really important to let them know what to expect so that they are prepared with their devices and also a mindset that they will be working in Teams remotely. Number two, make sure you provide clear instructions before you begin the game. During my online class, before I start Quizlet Live with my students, I go through this set of instructions with them. I tell them that they must scan the QR code or go to the link given and join the game using the code. Then, they must put in their real name, that is their first name, for simple reasons being easy for identification by their friends and also for attendance record. Then, they wait for the game to start. Once I click start, they will be able to see their group members and their group name. Then, they join the breakout rooms according to their group name. Now, it really depends on the platform that you are using for your online classes. If you are using Zoom or the Big Blue button, you can easily create breakout rooms. However, if the platform that you are using does not allow you to create breakout rooms, you have to create another platform for your students' communication. So this is the set of instructions that I give to my students when I use another communication channel with my students. On their tablet or laptop, I tell them to scan the QR code or go to the link given and join the game using the code. Similarly, they put in their real name and then wait for the game to start. Once I click start, they will be able to see their group members and also their group name. Then I tell them that the first name that appears in the group will be the group leader. And the group leader will have to do a WhatsApp video call to their group members. This is where my students are using WhatsApp as the other communication channel for the coordination during the game. Therefore, my last advice is make sure you prepare a platform for students to communicate and collaborate with their teammates during the Quizlet Live session. It really depends on what platforms you have available just make sure that you choose the best one for their online learning environment. So now I'm going to show you how to get started on Quizlet. So once you've signed into your account, click on the sets that you have and choose the one that you want to review with your students. On your left, you will find the live button. So once you click live, you'll be able to choose how you'd like to play the game. Recently, Quizlet has allowed an option for individuals where students are playing individually. But if you want students to play in the team, you select Teams. And then select the type of combination that you'd like to play with your students. So on this screen, you will have the join code as well as the QR code for direct access to the game. So here you wait for your students to join the game. Once all your students have joined the game, you can click start and you will see the groups appear with your students there. Once your students have gotten into their breakout rooms and in their teams, you can click start. So I hope you find this tutorial useful. Do hit the like button and remember to subscribe to my channel. Goodbye!